because I would just be trying to write down my math homework and all of a sudden there would be like a monkey in the Friday spot and it'd be like, who gave you permission here? Like, did you even pay rent? Hi everyone, my name is Abby and I bought a giant pack of glitter gel pens and then proceeded to use only one of them for school. Maybe two, but that would be generous. I make videos about college, fashion, and family, and I upload every Tuesday and Friday this summer. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying out a little new intro today and you can probably see that I'm at a different angle. I'm just trying to develop a better aesthetic with better lighting and sort of better thumbnails and everything. So if you like this location and kind of what I'm doing with my channel, please let me know. So today we're going to be going over my school supplies haul for 2020 for college. I'm going to be a sophomore in college and I go to the University of Notre Dame. So let's get into it. I was just hanging around in Walmart with my mom and my sister and I saw some really cute stuff and I was like, well, you know, I should probably get some because I need it. So that is what I did. So the first things that I picked up are these really super cute notebooks. If you saw them in the thumbnail, I just, I think they're beautiful. They just, oh, they just look how I want to look. If I were a notebook, I would like to transform myself into this right here, please. I don't want to be a notebook, but just if I was. So these are the five star notebooks. They're like the, the Mead or the Med, I don't know, M-E-A-D, however you say that, kinds of notebooks. And these are, I think, the best ones. They're the one subject college ruled, which, you know, I think if you're going to college, it's a, probably a little past the time to be using wide ruled paper, but you know, that's up to you. The nice things about these are that they have a beautiful, gold spiral and then metallic detailing. I know that it's a little overexposed, but this one is like a very, very light pink. I think you can probably see it a little bit better now with gold hexagons. I don't do math anymore, guys. We have another one here that has, it's blue and it has gold little whatever these things. It looks kind of like molecules in chemistry, like it's maybe part of that. I like that too. And then this one is just with a little triangular sort of pattern and the gold on the side. So those are really beautiful. I would highly recommend picking them up. They are a little bit more expensive than maybe the generic brand ones. I think those are totally fine too. But for me, I know that when I would have the generic brand ones, sometimes the cardboard backing would rip off of them and then my pages would get all mangled and stuff in the back. So at least for me, I found that it's worth it to get the five star ones because they usually last a couple of years and they're incredibly durable. So literally the only other thing that I got from Walmart is a pack of highlighters because I don't know, I think highlighters are useful. I use them all the time. I always run out of them at the end of the year. So these are just the big bright liner ones. I don't know. I'm not super particular about my highlighters. I think these were just cheap and I really like the thick ones too because I don't really know what people use the thin ones for. Like for me, if I would just have to go and highlight something twice over a line because it's not thick enough, I just feel like these make so much more sense. If you like thin highlighters, what do you use them for? Please let me know. Maybe you just write really, really small. So the only other actual school supply kind of thing that I got was a planner from Lily Pulitzer. I love these planners. I have a whole collection of them. I've been getting them since I was, I think probably my freshman year of high school. So it's always just special to me to get a new one. I'll show you guys the inside of them. There are some complaints for people who always sort of get these that they were kind of boring this year. Um, and I sort of agree with that. We have, actually this is ugly. So I don't really like that one very much. I really like this September one and my birthday is in September. So I'm partial for sure. But basically it kind of just looks like this on the inside. The thing is usually on these pages though, there will be lots of designs, you know, things that kind of creep up in here, which I didn't particularly like because I would just be trying to write down my math homework and all of a sudden there would be like a monkey in the Friday spot and it'd be like, who gave you permission here? Like, did you even pay rent? I still think it's cute though. And it just makes me feel a lot more organized and better to write everything down, even better than putting things in Google Calendar, but I do that as well. So that's all for the actual haul part of this. I know that that was pretty small, but I pretty much want to show you guys what I have for my essentials, sort of what's in my backpack, the supplies that I bring with me almost every day to all of my classes. So the first thing that I want to start with 
is oh, it's large is my backpack so this is a super cute backpack i love it a lot it's nice i just get to rest my chin on it this is from madeline and company i think that this is their little logo again again is that a hexagon one two three four five six it's a hexagon geometry was not my favorite subject actually fun fact when i was in geometry i couldn't get it for the life of me since i didn't really understand it and wasn't able to perform quite as well as i wanted to i actually went to my teacher and i said hey can i do an interpretive dance for extra credit why did i think that that was okay she said no i would have said no too it's super weird i love my madeline and company backpack because it's like pretty giant there's lots of space in there <laughs> and also a thing that i love is that it has padded straps right here. It says be kind right here on the back, which I think is really cute. And it has two side pockets for your water bottle or whatever, and then a front pocket as well. I did wanna give you guys some recommendations for backpacks. I think that First of all, the important thing is that it's big enough. For me, I like to carry a lot of supplies and I don't ever want there to be a time when I have to sort of have supplies all in my arms because there's not enough room. Even though I just kind of do that sometimes, I like to sort of carry a lot of things in my arms, have my backpack on my back, and then I kind of like hunch over like a turtle. That's, yeah, one of my friends called me a turtle when I was walking up the stairs in high school. I don't think anything's changed, so I think I'm still a turtle. So other than the sides, I think another thing you should consider are side pockets. That's really important to make sure that you have a place to put your water bottle so you can stay hydrated. Like I said before, padded straps, and then just a durable material. I used to have a North Face, um, I think it's called a Borealis backpack. I really liked that one. It just wasn't like it's it wasn't super cute. I know there are cuter ones now But I'll definitely link that below along with this backpack. I've done so much research about backpacks <laughs> Because I really wanted to find the right one. I think Jansport makes some pretty good backpacks LL Bean, but I'd say if you like the kind of classic sort of preppy look and you want a nice durable spacious backpack Definitely go with Madeline and company. Also look at this cute striped lining like that's nice. Okay, no personal information revealed. I thought I'd kind of start from the um, biggest things in my backpack and then work outwards. So the first essential that I have is slash R. I never know how to construct those sentences. Binders, yes, binders are so important. I love them. I basically just have two big binders. I have one for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday, which works well for me because pretty much that's how my classes are divided up. These binders are just from Target. I believe that they're the Avery brand. I like them because they're just, I don't know, they're durable. They're like a pretty thick plastic. These are also a little bit flexible too. I think it's good to have a binder with flex in it because, you know, it might just kind of like snap or something thing and these you know I put these babies through a lot of heck and they're still doing well so then along with binders I would definitely recommend having binder dividers or binder tabs I basically just keep the same ones for every year that was difficult so yeah I just have um, one of these for each class at least if a class has a lot of papers that they give us then I'll try to make two sections for it but then I'll just label accordingly the next thing that I think Maybe not necessarily an essential, but I think it's helped me a lot, is to have an expandable file folder like this. This is where I file my old assignments that I don't want to keep in my binder, but that are still important to me. Like maybe it's a paper that I did really well on or something that I'm gonna need for like a biology test in the future. So I can keep these here. So when I go back to study for my finals, I still have them here. Because what I do is I empty out my binders and sort of sort through them probably every month and a half or so. I don't know, kind of after like a big exam. So this is where I put the assignments that I want to keep. The rest of them I throw away. The next things are notebooks. I mean, here are my kind of boring ones. I love the notebook and binder combination because I don't like having everything all together because I think it just gets too like thick and heavy and especially if you have a ton of binders for different classes it works well for me so that's what I love to do for my little organization system the next thing that I think you really need or really should have is a planner here's my old one from last year from Lily Pulitzer for me I feel like I have a lot of just thoughts and I, I kind of overthink assignments a lot of the time so if I'm able to put them down here in a physical way it's just really cathartic for me so I like it a lot I also have a cute little Kate Spade bow paperclip and that's what I use 
used to keep my place. So next I wanted to show you guys what I have in my pencil case. This is my Kate Spade pencil case. I've had it forever. I think you can find really cute ones anywhere. I've seen a lot of really nice ones at Target too. The first thing that I think that you should have in your pencil case is obviously like a pencil. I mean several pencils. I would say to have two to three. I love these ones. They're just like the big um, glitter ones. I know some people have those fancy ones. I remember I was always so envious of those. Like if somebody let me use them, I was like, we're embarking on a new level of friendship right now, seriously. The next thing that I think you should have is definitely a pen. I like to have erasable pens because I don't really like writing in pen, but some classes require it. And this is nice because if you mess up, then you can erase it. I think maybe some teachers are weird about that. Like they don't want you to have an erasable pen, but if they have no rule against it, why not make your life a little bit easier is what I think. So here it is, the one surviving gel pen. I think it's nice to have one of these just in case you need to do corrections on something or you need to do like a peer edit of somebody's paper. I'd probably have a red pen if I was more <laughs> professional, but I just like this one. The next thing is a Sharpie because somebody always needs a Sharpie for something. I can't even tell you why, but I just know somebody always needs a Sharpie. So it's good to have one. The next thing is to have a good eraser. I love these bad boys right here, the high polymer erasers. They are excellent. They just erase things really well. These are like the cool older brother of the pink pearl erasers. Like let's say the pink pearl eraser is Greg Hefley. This is Roderick right here. Here. The, yeah. Need I say more? I think that that's, that's probably all you need to know. I would always say it's a good idea to have a mini stapler. I know I talked about this in my video about things that you shouldn't forget to bring to college. Oh, I thought of another one, but I can't remember what it is. This little guy is the cutest ever, but I just think it's very useful to have a stapler in college. Like I said before, you're going to forget to staple something at the last minute or somebody else's. If you can help yourself out or somebody else out, it's definitely worth it, especially if you have something that's as cute and adorable as this is. I just ordered this off of Amazon, but I will make sure to link it again if you guys like it. These last couple of things aren't really like essentials. They're just kind of stuff that I think is nice to have. The first thing that I have is lip balm. It's just Burt's Bees. I don't know. I don't really care so much about what kind it is. Just sometimes in the winter I notice that my lips get really dry and cracked so I like to be able to pull out a lip balm and fix that up if I need to. I also usually have hand lotion with me again winter or just me like I just kind of have lizard skin. I just have this Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom. Yeah it's kind of an obnoxious scent like if you pull this out be prepared for people to kind of like look over and be like what? What is that? The last thing is like, you, it's probably kind of ridiculous, but I always have a little hand sanitizer in here. And I know there's like a meme, I will try my best to find it, about the coronavirus reacting to these kinds of hand sanitizers. Like really, like do you really think that that's gonna do something? You can't tell me that you have tried stress relief and have not experienced a little bit of relaxation from it. Even if it's minimal, I think that this is still a pretty good product. All right, so that is all for my essentials, my school supplies essentials for college, or honestly, most grades <laughs> in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Friday this summer, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Let me know if there's anything else, any suggestions that you have for my videos in the future. Bye.